As part of efforts to tackle the stigma suffered by victims of sexual and gender-based violence, Women's Rights and Health Project have organized a town hall meeting, sensitized the stakeholders in Alimosha local government area of Lagos State. According to the facilitators, there is need to treat children working as house helps fairly and for husband and wives to live harmoniously void of violence. Plus TV Africa correspondent Destiny Momo has more. This is part of the project titled Increasing Access to Justice-Related Services to mobilize communities for the uptake of justice for survivors of sexual gender-based violence. The project, among other things, has established a resource center called the Ireti Resource Center to support vulnerable people and sexual gender-based violence survivors by providing them with free services unfair treatment to house helps, and the reason for this gathering. The organizers have this to say. As we've spoken to the adults, we should also speak to the adults who are in charge of children because statistics shows that um, children between the ages of um, 15 to 18 are more vulnerable to sexual and gender-based violence. Sexual and gender-based violence has continued to be a menace in the society, hence the need for sensitization of the masses on this reality. Some participants of the town hall meeting react on the impact of the training. Most of what was discussed today, I feel that we do it naturally at home. Like when you say, you this boy, you must do this thing, you need to do it, without giving that child food. And now it's meant to understand that it's not good. The same right to give to your children, you give to these people. So it's, it's really deep and I really enjoy it. A lot of us believe we can treat our maid anyhow. But with this program, it let us to know we should treat them equally. In 2020, this group, among other things, trained 100 police officers, 300 community-mandated sexual gender-based violence reporters from 30 social structures, and presently, secondary school students are being trained on improving reporting of sexual gender-based violence to better expose this menace in our society. Destiny Momo for PLOS TV Africa. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.